to want children but not to want marriage that's insane like when you say it out loud i want kids but i don't want no husband like that like just logically who like does your children even matter like you want a child for your own selfish reasons but what about the family that your child you know deserves how are you risking your life to make such a huge commitment to give to a man but you don't want ki but you don't want marriage why not this comment right here this woman commented on my post telling me that i'm projecting and she never desired to be married blah 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 blah. so i asked her do you have children this is her response my personal business is none of yours but at the end of the day marriage is not a priority for me never has been aka i got kids and i'm not married my question again if you don't want to have kids then don't cool don't, i ain't pressing you to get married but why not have be married if you want kids but soon as somebody challenged y'all and asked you, now you've proven my point. She got kids, <laughs> but she never desired marriage. But why not? You know why? Because in our community, in the black community, it is not a priority to have to be married. It is not encouraged to be married. People promote and they always ask you all the time, when are you having kids? Nobody ever says, when are you going to get married? Why are I not married yet? That is the norm. So, mo so many women are coming out and talking about like, well, er that's not meant for everybody. Okay, but who says everybody is meant to be a mother? Because we clearly see half the women out here having children ain't qualified at all, but they still doing it. So, y'all mean to tell me that it should just be okay to want man, children, man, but crazy. not to. Man, that's crazy. But she, she got a good point, but go ahead. Go ahead. Anybody can start. Hey, yeah. lady, we're going to let the lady speak first. Go ahead. In my bad. Okay. Uh, okay. The, okay. So, <laughs> I'm trying to focus, y'all. And I'm trying to get outside of my feelings because I be picking up on energy. I, her energy kind of salty for whatever reason, but this is the thing, right? <laughs> okay. This is the thing. People value marriage differently, right? I don't know why we try to impress our values on other people. Some people truly see marriage as a business. Some people want marriage for companionship. Yes, if we are going to complain about broken homes and stuff like that, then yeah, that needs to be addressed. Now, we're also in a time where people are having children and not getting married, not even being in the same house and co-parenting together. That is not to say that a person can't yield a productive citizen out of that type of environment. I'm a single mother, so I'm not here to shame nobody, right? But I personally, I mean, it's possible to want to have a child and not be married. Now, whether or not it's selfish, that's what someone else has to figure out. We live in a time now where people don't want to be bothered with one another. People tolerance is low. Soon as some shit is uncomfortable, okay, yeah, fuck you, get up out of here. I, yeah, you 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 annoy me. You get on my nerves. You know, like I like things my way. I don't like to compromise. I don't like to have to work with somebody. And this is a part of that human connectedness that I was talking about. And I'm going to stay on that soapbox, right? Because we have this whole list of things that we want. They superficial, they transactional, but they lack meaningful connection. So, I mean, I know people that want to have kids and not be married. Me personally, that was never that was never my goal personally, because I've always wanted to be married. I love family. I said it on my live the other day. I love being a wife and I'll never regret it. Like I went through some shit, it ended up in divorce, but I love being a wife. Everybody don't want that, right? But what I find is people will shame other people for wanting to be married. And then you got some people that are shame people for not wanting to be married. And I'm just trying to figure out how we can make sense of it in a way where it don't demean the next person. Because by that logic, if everybody ain't meant to be a mother, everybody ain't meant to be fucking married. So well, help me understand. I don't look, I don't want to get off too much, but yeah, the energy. I'll be trying to figure out the energy. Uh, I, I know for me, and I learned this lesson for me is to stay out of people's business. Let's really stay out of people's business. You know, people have their own way to think about they want to have kids or they want to adopt a kid. 
just whatever, you know, you know, it's just like, I like, know for me, it's not, I know for me, when I want a kid, I want, I want to be married when I have my kids. I, you know, that was the, the, the best option for me that I wanted to do. And, you know, I'm doing it right now. For, and for your situation, like, uh, just that, just, uh, just say, just like my mom, you know, she, she wanted the same thing, but since she got married, but, you know, she got divorced and it didn't work out that way. You know, she, she did like being a wife, but, you know, some, sometimes situations don't work like that. No. Right, and it's bigger than just oh, you chose wrong. You know what I'm saying? Life, exactly. life happens. But when you say life happens, then they say you make excuses. But yet they think like people crazy say a lot here, right? But it's amazing because we got all the answers for everybody else's life. Mm -hmm. But I like don't exhibit all the shit that we, like these people be talking crazy out here. But I'll say this and I'll be done. Now it, it, it's 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 complicated, right? Because I personally did not. I knew there was a biological clock thing for whatever reason. I didn't think I would experience it. Listen, y'all, when I hit my 30s, I was baby crazy. I wasn't in a relationship. I was already divorced. In my, my mind, it was baby, baby. Listen, also, listen, I was on some shit where, hey, listen, here go a cup. Just put it in the cup. Hey, yeah, you, just put it in the cup. Like, hey, you ain't. You ain't gotta be here. I was I was sperm crazy. I didn't have I didn't I wasn't in a relationship, but that drive within me, I can't explain it, but it was it was strong. I really wanted a baby and I had to reckon with myself, right? Because I was I was I actually had um looked up sperm banks in California. Like, listen, you could sit there and look up their education level, you could look up their hair, whatever you y'all know how it go. You could look up whatever uh their medical history, what the whole nine. I had to start going through that whole process. That's how much it was driving within me. You know what I'm saying? So it's layers to it. Ideally, I would want to be married. Um, the dynamics, man. I just, I, I, I personally, I personally don't want to dismiss or uh, I want to appreciate the dynamics between a man and a woman and the value that that both brings in regards to raising a child I, I never want to dismiss that you know what i'm saying but i also understand life is complicated uh well a little more complex i won't necessarily say complicated but a little more layered so i'll leave it there i'll go on mute no but the, um the, the the aspect when it comes to the black community what that lady's saying is the truth and i'm not i'm not gonna lie it'd be like um no change to say oh sometimes you gotta tell the truth and shame the devil is is the fact she's telling the truth like on uh, the black community they focus a lot about women becoming baby mother than actually women becoming the wives it's just a fact you have a prime example you have sexy red who was literally pregnant dancing on say twerking that's part of the culture right now the the uh the ratchet culture they call it so women today they they rather a guy to get them pregnant and throw the guy away than actually telling the guy hey if you get me knocked up you won't be my husband they don't push that towards the guy because they know i did they, they're not looking for that and i told that to hakeem so many i came enjoy it even on this panel so many times I keep saying that men are the one pushing for marriage. These women are not pushing for marriage. I'm just being honest. They're just not. Okay, I'm trying not to cut you off, right? And this is where I started getting a little mixed up, right? And of course, how, how you get mixed up for? Listen, don't 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 come for me unless I send for you. No, I'm <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> but um, so this is the thing, right? So when they get into the talking points, men men control marriage, right, or whatever whatever the talking point is. I don't know the talking point, but at the end of the day, we know for things to really progress in a in a in a in a decent way, the man have to initiate that, right? I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't see a lot of dudes really trying to push marriage like that. And 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 to be honest with you, men that want to get married get married. I've been saying that in the space for the longest. Men that want to get married, they they work towards that. They work towards that. The people who complain about marriage and all that kind of shit like that is because they want. Uh, they they got all they got them weird lists going on. Men that I know, like, and I'm not saying it's just as easy as that, but what I'm saying is they they pursue that, they go look for that. But what I found in this space, in this space alone, you could have a guy talking about wanting to get married, and I don't seen a bunch of niggas dog pile him, shame him for wanting to get married, fear monger him to not get married. To, yeah, that that shit be garbage to me. So the it's it, it, even the ones that do want to get married with the current that's going on right now they get sh they get shamed for that shit and i mean we could get into the risk and all that but that's neither here or there but what i found is people that really want to build and create family in regards to men initiating marriage and stuff like that i found that they just work 
They, they just work towards that. We've seen that in the space. There's a couple of men, as you know, Ronnie, in the space. Yeah. It's been a few years. They done found them a wife. They done got them a wife and they working on their family. That is correct. Fact. I'm not saying it's that easy for everyone, but what I'm saying is it's not as complicated as a lot of these niggas make it. But what it is, is they they want they want they cake and eat it too. I just sum it up like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for example, that is a guy in the space. Oh, I, I normally call him a Haitian brother because he's Haitian. I think you know what I'm talking about. He met somebody off the panel and ended up marrying her. So that was it, it happened. And not only that, but he used to promote marriage. That was saying like guys that really push like for marriage. They end up getting married majority. They focus on that. That's what they focus on, and yeah. that's what they work towards. They that's don't why I came to worry because I'm on that a lot. Yeah. They, they don't sit on panels complaining and crying about women all day. The men that want to build families, mm -hmm. they go focus on that. That's what they go do. They don't sit there running their mouth all day about this weird shit. But like I said, as far as the baby thing, yeah, I th it's ideal, right? Because it, and don't get me wrong, it it takes more than just that household, right? It's about the village, right? It's about community. And so that expands outside of the household. And that comes in different forms. That is not to say you can't yield a, a, a productive citizen under those circumstances. Because I know a lot of people that, you know, they grew up in different circumstances in the house. Was They grew up in broken homes. You know what I'm saying? And they, they, they children, cool. I'm, I would never say that that's ideal, but that's based on my value system. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But then about JJ, but is it but is it but is it truly a broken home if the father's still around even though he's not married to the uh, to the baby mama? Sometimes, sometimes not. Everybody's situation is different. Sometimes people are totally absent. Sometimes they're around. Mm. Mm -hmm. no, that's true. Like for me, I was in a situation that you know, I, like my my brother, you know, he saw his father more than I did. It was a little jealousy, but I mean, look right. at you, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, those, I mean are, those are real issues though, Jordan, right? right? Like usually so, I was, you know, I should be the one be angry, be angry at my, my family, my mom, my brother, you know, be, you know, just be angry. I believe, like, you know what, I'm going to the streets and all something like that, you know. But you know, my mindset, my mindset was like, you know, my, my family, because I have, you know, a big family, you know, from my on my, my, my mother's side and everything. And I saw a lot of marriages and everything, and I was like, you know what, that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna do. Right, 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 right. So case example, right? Name, name dropping, but it was a panel today where it was a young man on a panel, right? He dating. The 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 circumstances are a little interesting. You understand what I'm saying? But the it wasn't even just the guys. It was everybody. You know, I won't say everybody, but it was a lot of people discouraging him from moving forward with that relationship, right? But it was because of the circumstances, you know. Now, what I said in the chat, I say, listen, it don't even matter how many kids she got. In this space, it could be a guy that could be dating a chick, no kids, et cetera, et cetera. What I found is the hate and bitter ass niggas, the hurt, big tip ass niggas, what they do, they will still discourage men from moving forward. Oh, you don't want to do that. And then they start projecting and crying and telling their little trauma story. And no, because what she going to do? She going to do this and she going to like, it's just weird out here. We just in a time where people are just self-serving. And I ain't going to front. If I'm going to give you a perspective of a woman. You might have, I'm not in the head, but you might have some women that still want to fulfill that need of bringing forth a child into the world, birthing a child into the world and not being bothered with the bullshit. I ain't trying to be funny. I ain't here to be a victim, y'all. But men and women hurt. What I'm saying is sometimes women may just get to the point. That's just like nowadays how it ain't even nowadays. In general, women in regards to sexuality is most most often demonized right or we constantly hear that we only like our only value is is our our private you know what i'm saying what, what we have to all our genitals right and so honestly you have a lot of women and i and i've been through that when i was younger like oh, okay well they only look at me like this okay well might as well get something out of it this is why you have a lot of these chicks on only fans instagram etc etc because in their mind they're gonna look at me like a hoe anyway so at least i should get some money out of it i'm not saying that's productive that's true. i'm just from a perspective if if, if 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 i decide to venture out into a relationship with him and then I sleep with him. After I sleep with him, if it don't work out, now I'm a hoe. Now I got another body. Let me at least get some money up out this bitch. 
I ain't mm. saying it's ideal. I'm just giving y'all the thought process for some people. Yeah. This it's, this it's capitalizing. It, yeah, it's it's right. tough it's you know, but I, 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 based on my value system, I would love to see men and women in the house together with their children. But that is based on my value system. I love it. It warms my heart. But everybody ain't like that. And everybody don't have that situation. Right. So go, go ahead. I came and then Hassan. And that would be it. Shout out to Eric Brown. How you been, brother? Long time no see. So, oh, shout out to Chocolate Earth. He was on here too. Shout out Chocolate. So, I'm gonna come at this from a different perspective. There's nuances to dating in 2024. A lot of people who are not actively dating will be misconstrued about what's going on. Times have changed. The dynamics have changed. Now, I'm going to tell you somebody who has been actively dating not for games not for sure actively dating with a purpose purpose with marriage you're going to meet people in different sectors they want different things i've met women who don't want to be married because of control because of being under a leadership, because they know if they get with a certain type of man, a man will have a certain sort of dominance over them. Now, we're going to fast forward this next. We're going to fast forward this to another act. Roni said something that I'm going to have to agree with him on. There are women who do not want marriage. Having kids is not a compass. Having kids is a conversation before marriage. We look at just being together and having kids as life. The conversation of the covenant, most of us don't, most of us even go raise the church, but we don't date people in church. A lot of our baby fathers and baby mothers are from secular situations. Follow me this. Most women don't even ask you to put on the condom half the time. Yeah, we're going we, we, we to get there. We're going to get there. I'm going to go back on mute because I don't no, know no, what she said. No, no. But go ahead. Go ahead. Right. You got it. Yeah, we're we going to get there. What she said? She said, I can't lie. I don't come across many black men pushing for marriage like that. Um, um. So, so here's the thing. The men who are pushing for marriage tend to fall with women who don't want marriage. Women want marriage from men that don't even conceive themselves marriage. They have kids that don't even see themselves marrying with. I'm talking about for, I'm talking about, I'm just talking about from my anecdotal experience. I'm not speaking from generality. I've met women who want to set certain rules when you know you can't do that. When you're dealing with men, certain men are not going to go for certain things. So now we're looking at this from a different point. We're in a time of change where you might want it, the person you meet might not want want it, so you're okay with the situation shift. Dating now is we're just okay. Having the baby is just okay. You know what I mean? Most of the time, a lot of people ain't going to admit to this. We'll meet somebody. It get hot and steamy real quick. You, you It get hot and steamy real quick. You don't even know the person's ideology, who he voted.